It was something, mm-hmm. something bad about it. it was, no. No. It's your, it's your moral duty. Yes. It's your moral duty to become rich. Absolutely. Okay. Hey, hey, plumbing pros. Welcome to the 389th episode of Potty Talk. And we have a fun mm-hmm. episode here. Yes. All right. We're going to be talking books, podcasts, movies. Oh, my. All right. <laughs> some some resources here. Yeah. We, it's a question that, that we get asked mm-hmm. often. Okay. What, what resources do you recommend mm-hmm. that I, I can learn more for, you know, about my business or, you know, what to do? And, um, you know, even they ask that way or just, uh, what do you listen to? Or what, right. what do you want? You know, that kind mm-hmm. of thing. So, yes, we're going to talk about those. So, so we're going to share a couple that have meant um, that really – that we've gleaned some pretty good stuff from yes. that we've actually Over even used years. and mm-hmm. that have even um, um, have, have moved us down the road a good ways. Mm-hmm. All right. So yeah. we're going to share those there just with just we a minute are. with you. Yes. All right. But before we do mm-hmm. want to ask you, if you'll please share, mm-hmm. share this episode, like okay. subscribe, follow, leave us a review on whatever platform you're listening to. Um, we'd really appreciate it. Let us know if you love us, hate us, Whatever. Right. We want to know. We want to know those things. Inquiring minds want to know. Yes. Mm-hmm. Share the love. All right. So what kind right. of business books, tools, resources do we recommend? Well, I thought I'd start with a book. All okay. Right. Mm-hmm. In fact, I, I got it right here. Okay. Ooh, that looks like a big one. Oh, that's right. It's my <laughs> kind of book. You know, it's, I'm showing if you're, if you're watching the, the, the video, you know, potty talk here. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a thick book at all. No. Okay. If you listen on the podcast, mm-hmm. um, you know, it's, it's what 87 pages. <laughs> okay. Um, and it's not like, it's mm-hmm. very easy read. Now mm-hmm. the thing about the, well, the name of the book is yes. the science of getting rich. Yes. You want to pull it up there? Okay. Yes. Yeah, science, science of getting okay, rich. I'll show for the camera here. Mm-hmm. The science of getting rich. Okay. Written by Wallace D. Waddles. What a Boy, name. that's a name. Wally Waddles. Okay. Wow. Now this first, um, was published in 1910. Don't let that throw you off. Yeah. Okay. This is the granddaddy mm-hmm. of all the, the business books, mm-hmm. of all the, you know, think and grow rich, mm-hmm. you know, all those that are, you know, right. in modern, all the, all the, this is, this is the granddaddy mm-hmm. of all those books. Mm-hmm. Okay. That concept. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a very easy read. I like it. If you can see it, if I show on camera, I know you don't know if the camera can pick up, but you, I, but I have, them all I, I, I got it all marked up, mm-hmm. lined, um, highlighted. highlighted. Mm-hmm. Okay. What was um, it about? Okay. But it's the science of getting rich, that mm-hmm. there is um, an equation or things that you do to get rich. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's kind of like what we talk about, you know, with, uh, you know, the, the Success Academy that, hey, hey, you're, you're in a truck and, and you want to you wanna grow to, you know, three, five, seven million dollar plumbing business. You do these things. Mm-hmm. It's a no brainer. Right. It, it happens. Mm-hmm. Okay. The ones that don't do those things struggle. Right. You do these things that we tell you to do. It work. It just it happens. Mm-hmm. It it just happens. Just do the it. same thing with with making money or, or mm-hmm. growing wealth. Now this is the science of getting rich. So this think about nineteen ten. You know, talk about rich wasn't. You know, today rich kind of. You know, it sounds like a four letter word. We almost mm-hmm. feel. I, I don't want to say I want to get rich. I don't like want to be one of those rich guys. Right. With something mm-hmm. something bad about it. No. No. It's your it's your moral duty. Yes. It's your moral duty to become rich. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, poor people don't do anything for society. Right. Okay. Uh, poor people don't protect the society. Um, can't take care can't of. Can't take care of. Um, they can't take care of their families. Orphans. Right. Mm-hmm. They can't take care of others in our community. Mm-hmm. Rich people do. Yes. Okay. So it's your rich moral. People, re- rich people support missions, right? Yes. Rich right. people um, help with um, people that are trying to get into office, right? It, that they they have a um, someone, a candidate or something they really want to get behind. It takes money to do that. Right. Um, it takes money to support churches, Right. All those things. Right. Mm -hmm. So getting rich is what you want to do. Okay. Mm -hmm. And having this plumbing business is your first step in building your, your family wealth. Yes. Okay. And so, and it's called the the science of getting rich. So that's where science is coming out, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. And it's, it's not necessarily scientific. No, 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 no. Um, Some of these things can be, you can call them equations, Mm -hmm. you know, just like, you know, I say having your honest hourly rate and with your flat rate taskmaster, you know, equal success, you know, it's kind of, but those aren't necessarily equations. Yes. You know? And even though it's but, a small book, do not recommend reading it all in one setting. No. Because it is really thoughtful things. I mean, you really need to, to read a page or a paragraph or at the most a chapter and really sit and ponder and think about what it is that was said, right? This isn't like, okay, I'm going to just go to bed one night and, and whip out and read this, you know, this book in one setting. It is not that kind of book. Right. And I still will pull it out. I've, I mean, I've had this for years now. Yeah, you have. And mm-hmm. I, I still will just pull out and read read a chapter. Mm-hmm. Like, and you see where I have my, I kind of... 
That's an old business I card. An old you guys business card. So it tells you how long, right? Wow. Okay. That's the old Potty Talk logo. Yeah. I didn't even realize you had that. So that's funny. Probably gotten this when I started using this from the yeah. maybe you know at least four years ago or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, um, <laughs> so like here, opened up to chapter eight here. Thinking in a certain way. See if this doesn't sound familiar. Mm-hmm. All right. Are oh, you going to read oh, from it? Okay. Just okay. you must form a clear and definite mental picture of what you want. Mm-hmm. You cannot transmit an idea unless you have it yourself. Wow. So can, what does that sound like? You cannot transmit an idea. Unless you have it yourself. Right. See, those are the types of things you just kind of have to stop and then ponder, right? right. So an idea, you, you can't you can't transmit an idea that, that you haven't had. So so the example, uh, they get and talks more about this, and we talk about this and doing your, you know, our daily GPS, mm-hmm. right? Where you say, oh, I want to make money. Right. You can't. That, that, that my goal you, is you know, I want to make money. Right. I want to make more money. Right. I want to make more money or mm-hmm. I want to pay the bills or right. I want to. I want to be successful. Right. Right. That does not. That, that, that thought is not clarified, so mm-hmm. it won't. Your mind won't work at it to make it happen. Correct. I mean, this mm-hmm. there's this this thing of thinking. Mm-hmm. You know, I guess it's, the it's, other one is think and grow rich. Right. Mm-hmm. It's that kind of. Um, it's not that you're just thinking it and it happens. You're no. thinking it. You're, so your subconscious is open to opportunities and things that you need to do right. to make it happen. To work it. So you have to say, I want. Um, I want to make a million dollars this year with my mm-hmm. plumbing business. Right. A million dollars. Mm-hmm. I want to have a million right. dollars um, but by the end of the year. I want to see that on, on my, you right. know, my um, P&L, right? Right. A million dollars. Right. Right. Finding and hiring the right tech for your team can be challenging. Applicant Pro makes it so simple and easy. The personal Applicant Pro hiring professional will do the brunt of the work for you. Writing job ads that will get you maximum applicant exposure. Manage the advertising of your jobs to over 20 major and local job boards. Even a pre-hire risk assessment is included to ensure your candidate matches the role expectations and your company values. Learn more about Applicant Pro and to take advantage of special discounts just for Potty Talk listeners. Go to the million dollar plumber dot com forward slash applicant pro. Um, or I, I want a certain certain house. Um, I want a certain car or truck. Um, I want to be able to support um, a mission. Okay, that's all great. Okay, then what kind of house? Right? What what can, what streets it on? What neighborhood is it in? What color is house? How many bedrooms? How many baths? Does it have a basement? Does it have a pool? Does it sit on water? Does it sit out in the woods? Right? All those things. What kind of car? Not just any old car or truck. I mean, most of you guys probably want trucks. What kind of truck? Is it a dually? Are there still duallys around? A dually. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, what is it? What is it a Ford? Is it a Chevy? Is it a whatever? What color is it? What are the, what are the the things that um you know the features that are in it? Um, where do you want to go on vacation? You know, if, it, if that's a thing too, where do you want to go on vacation? Is it the mountains? Is it the ocean? Is it overseas? Is it, you know, name those things, put the, the name, the color, the, the description. And so it talks, it talks about all those kinds of, mm-hmm. you know, those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. You know, there's another chapter 14 here, the impression of increase, mm. the impression of increase. So before, you know, when you start out with your plumbing business, you can't just say, oh, I'm just this. No, I'm a, I'm, I'm a CEO, a, right? I'm a CEO of a, of a plumbing, plumbing empire, mm-hmm. you know, and I have this many trucks and I do this and I'll, even before you have it, you got to right. behave, yes. you got to dress the part, you got to walk the walk mm-hmm. before you even, you even get there, yes. you know, mm-hmm. all right. All your efforts must be to convey to their minds, the impression of increase. Mm-hmm. So it's like when you're starting out, like when it's just, just you and a you know, helper and another guy or whatever, you got to act like you're the biggest plumbing company in town. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. it's not that oh well we're just this out right. of my garage and mm-hmm. wah wah wah. No, <laughs> that's why you know we've talked about it even just in a recent potty talk. I mean, we called about we talked about meetings. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was uh, was that the last potty talk? Uh, it was recently here. Mm-hmm. Talked about meetings here, and and just um, you know how important it is not to sit with your guys. You mm-hmm. give the impression of leadership and right. being in control. Mm-hmm. All right, and it's going to be a great. You may come off a bad week. Uh, this we're going. This is going to be a great week. It's always everything is going to be great. Mm-hmm. Okay. If it's slow, hey, it's just how it is, guys. You know, I mean, all right. cyclical. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. We we know what's going on here. Mm-hmm. Or we'll take it as it comes here. Right. You know, Now's the good time to stock your truck. Now's so, the good time to clean your but, truck. But you're thinking of increase. Mm-hmm. You know, you're thinking of you know we, we when we talk about you know looking at our P and L and the numbers. We're talk, we we focus on the top line mm-hmm. growing. Grow the top line. Not trying to minimize. Well, I got to pay my guys less. I got to get my payroll percentage down right, and all that. All the oh, that's all. You're you're that's decrease. Right. You're looking at decrease. Mm-hmm. You won't grow by cutting. Right. By in looking at decrease. Mm-hmm. So it's where your mind where yes. your mind's at. Read that thing so, about transmit an idea. Can you find that again? Um, transmit. Say that again. Do you have right. that still? 
Where was it? One of the first things I yeah, said? Yeah, about um, transmitting an idea. Right. You must form a clear and definite mental picture of what you want. Mm. You cannot transmit an idea mm. unless you have it yourself. And you guys had the idea of starting a plumbing business, right? right? You, you had the idea. Your plumbing business didn't just start willy-nilly on its own out of thin air, right? Mm. You you had to think about it. You had to put the effort in. You had to envision and, and think about, okay, if I have, you probably worked for another plumbing company, and you're thinking, okay, when I have my plumbing company, here's the things I want to do. I want to do these things different than what my previous employer did. Or these are some things that I like that my employer did, and I'm going to bring those over into mine. But you had to transmit the idea before your plumbing business even came into existence. It came into existence because you thought it. Right. Right. And did the work. I, but, it, but it started with the idea. Right. And you didn't probably didn't have customers. You know, mm -hmm. so that, that's the kind of the thought we're getting at here of, of, of increase. It's like, you know, so we get in the conversation, guys, you know, should I get a truck? When I get a truck, well, I don't have, I have a lot of calls. I don't even have another guy. Mm -hmm. Get the truck. Get the truck. Because you get the truck, that's a thought, that's an increase. Mm -hmm. Okay, then your mind's working, well, I got to get a guy. Subconsciously. Right. It's not like it's every moment. Right. But in the subconsciously, your mind's open to, all of a sudden, it's pulling guys in. Mm -hmm. it, it's just the weirdest it is, thing. It's being, mm -hmm. it's being brought to you. Right. It will feel like that. Right. But really, your 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 mind and, and everything you're doing is working towards that, right? Right, and okay. the, and the marketing and, and all those things. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But get the truck first, okay? Mm -hmm. Hi, hire the guy, but before you even have a truck, your guy comes hire a guy. Do it all. Recruit, recruit, recruit. It's mm -hmm. it's always doing things and looking at things as we have the increase. Mm -hmm. You know, not to go. You know, that's sadly what's happening in our society today is we're doing this. We we have this thing where you know, first of all, it's you know the whole COVID stuff, the fear of we're all going to die. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, you know, there's not enough, you know, we got global, global warming or, you know, all, all that kind of stuff where even mm -hmm. they said we spent the trillions of dollars and we do all this. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us what, how many degrees we're going to, a percentage of a degree <laughs> that will, they, they can't, no. that will decrease. Mm -hmm. All right. All that, but all that's there to get us looking at decrease mm -hmm. and at um, scarcity. Scarcity. Mm -hmm. Okay. And not growth. Because that's how you control, you know, you can control people like that or right. are afraid. Mm -hmm. You can't control the people who are looking at increase. Correct. So that's another reason why our economy is being broken mm -hmm. or whatever. All right. Because you can't, you can't control, you can control those kinds of people. Correct. All right. Mm -hmm. But you can't control if you're thinking, cause it's a powerful thing. It's extremely powerful. So mm -hmm. book recommend if you haven't read this yet, Science well, we have a link, we have a link in we'll the, have a link somewhere in the show notes for okay, sure. Yes. Science of getting rich. Another book um, too is rich dad, poor dad. Hopefully most of you have read rich dad, poor dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think we need to go into detail about that, but that is such a great book for, um, for, for people like us that come from, from the trades or blue collar or whatever, and, and thinking a totally different way, man, that's, that's also one of the top on the list to read. Right. So. And, and I'm going to make this note guys. Um, I, I'm not a reader. I am now. Mm -hmm. I still I try. Say. I am now, mm -hmm. but even though I've, I make myself because I just know leaders are readers. Mm -hmm. Throw out a phrase there. Mm -hmm. Leaders are readers. So if you're you're wanting to lead and and to grow and to create wealth and, and those kinds of things, you got you got to read. Right. You okay. got to learn constantly. Right. Learning. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, and, and you're not learning by scroll holing. No. Yeah. Right. And looking at stupid you're crap. Not, right. That mm -hmm. that's not reading. And watching you know some you know duck on. Roller skates or whatever <laughs> right, right, right. it might be on. Okay, on that, that, that's not media. that's not reading. Okay, yeah. you need to take time to do this. So yes. it's um, again coming from a guy who's not a reader. Um, I I never read a single book all through high school. <laughs> uh, I never read a single book. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. I, I just participated in class, so the teacher stayed away from me, and, <laughs> yeah. and uh, just by listening, I could learn enough so I could pass the test. Okay. <laughs> But I never read anything. So it was coming from a guy who doesn't like to read. Mm. This is a very easy read. That one's easy read. And Rich Dad, no. Poor Dad is as well. Um, one right. other book I want to throw out there is The E-Myth, M-Y-T-H, The Entrepreneurial Myth. That's an old book by Michael Gerber. But um, it, it, you read the first couple chapters and you're going to say, this is me. This right. is me. So that's another one. So there those are some books that we recommend. There's some books there. What okay. about a podcast? Okay, podcast. What podcast do we recommend? No, I think we listen to a, a few different we podcasts. <laughs> we get our, we get our favorites, and mm -hmm. I got, but one that, that potty we, talk is my favorite by it, far. It is a great <laughs> podcast. You know, if you own a plumbing business, there's <laughs> a lot of good information there. <laughs> I may say so myself. <laughs> um, but I was thinking about one that really that really affected us mm -hmm. and, and helped us tremendously mm -hmm. was a podcast uh, named E on fire entrepreneur on, on fire, fire. Yeah. with 
John Lee Dumas, affectionately known as JLD. JLD. Right? And he interviews um, entrepreneurs from all walks of life, all different businesses, you know, what their stories are, what the struggles and how they became successful, all of that. And he literally had all different kinds of businesses on. But we, gosh, we started listening to that. Um, five plus like years ago, ago. Yeah. I think. Um, and it was just interesting. And not that you know, every episode was life changing, right. but we always got a nugget, right? Yes. Sometimes there were a, f- a number of nuggets. Sometimes it was just one, but it was, it puts you in the mindset of business and thinking and hearing other people's story. And, and somebody may say something in the interview that, that really resonates with you. And then you can apply it to your business. Exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, does, he does a great job. And gosh, he's got thousands of um, right. podcasts and, um, out there. And in fact, we were interviewed once. You were on um, yes. Dolly. That's been some. I don't even know when. Yeah. Yeah. That's been a while. Um, but he, don't, don't take that. A lot bigger names. I mean, he has a lot <laughs> more bigger. Yeah, I was going okay. to say. That's kind of a feather. I, I'm, <laughs> it's a, I enjoy that feather in my cap. Mm-hmm. I mean, because we, we like like mm-hmm. him yeah. and like that. And, mm-hmm. and it's something we listen to. So to mm-hmm. be interviewed was kind of a cool thing Yeah. on, on our part. Not mm-hmm. so much his part, but our part. Right. Um, but it, even though the businesses weren't something I was interested in, or was like, mm-hmm. well, that's weird, or that's different, or mm-hmm. I don't, really don't care about that. Mm-hmm. Again, these are business owners, entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. um, and business is business. People are people. Customers are customers. <laughs> I mean, all these things we can learn from one another. Mm-hmm. And so it always picked up something, no matter, always. you know, mm-hmm. what, what, you know, whatever the business would be, you know, some law, something or other or mm-hmm. whatever, which is like, I don't, you know. There's a marketing thing or, what, or, you know, 15 ways, you know, somebody has videos on 15 ways to tie bows. Or yeah. Something. Right. right. <laughs> and then the how world? they get that out there, how, how, right. you know, how they make, you know, how they're making millions of dollars teaching people how to tie bows, right. which is actually one of the, was actually the, <laughs> I know it you was. know, <laughs> so it's like, huh. In fact, and so that's how we got even how we wound up even online mm-hmm. was, you know, the thought of just of others that were t- taking their brick taking and mortar stuff and online. taking it online. Yes. It's like, well, I gave us insight yes. and you just learn things. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, that kind of equipment. Oh, I need to learn that. Or, okay. Right. What, well, what's that? It was that? ClickFunnels because he had um, Russell Brunson, who's the owner of ClickFunnels on. He had him on. Right. And we're like, we've never heard of this before. The whole fu- funnels. What is that? What's a right? funnel? What's right. a funnel? And then really drilling down on, on how you build funnels for marketing and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so that was that was er, in the early days. So we used to when we get ready. Well, we still get ready together in the morning. Mm. But back in the day, we would. Put that podcast on a JLD podcast, Eon Fire, and listen to it. And gosh, there were a number of times, you know, Richard's either shaving or I'm brushing my teeth. We're like, wait, wait, pause that, pause right. that. <laughs> what did he just say? Right. You know, and rewind. Um, so Eon Fire is a great podcast from a business standpoint to listen to. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking a podcast. That's one that really has affected our lives. Mm-hmm. And they all have something positive. You know, I'm a, you know, we're kind of an Ed Milet fan. Mm-hmm. You know, recently we even did. You know, he spoke at one of our conferences. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, you know, he's, he has some powerful interviews and mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Um, mm-hmm. And so we, we have a few different ones that we listen to. Yeah. One from um, a relationship standpoint that I've recently found. <laughs> we, was, we are was, waiting for me to bring it up. Can we listen to it this morning? <laughs> wait, wait. Well, we, and actually, well, we can't make that announcement yet. Anyway, yeah, the I, name of the podcast is One Extraordinary Marriage. Now, it has nothing to do with business. Let me just preface that. It has nothing to do with business. It's about marriage, and it's about, um, they've, they've got a book out called The Six Pillars of of um, Intimacy. Um, and they talk about, you know, um, physical intimacy, of course, and recreational intimacy and spiritual Im- intimacy. I can't remember all six yeah. of them, but they, they, it's, it's about marriage and how to strengthen your marriage and make your marriage um, not just survive, but to thrive. And, and they right. talk about sex. And when they talk about <laughs> sex, it, it's not gross, right? It's not gross in, in any way. Or you feel it's, dirty. Or... No, not at all. And, but they also don't um, use cute little words to try to hide what they're saying. They, they talk about it, right? right? The couple's name is Tony and Elisa DiLorenzo. And really, really neat couple. They've got like 700 and some podcasts out there. They've been married for almost 30 years um, and just have a, a great way of um, presenting their, their topic. And it's always a fun topic. Um, and I was going to name a couple of the shows, but I think I won't. <laughs> anyway, but it's called One, Ex- One Extraordinary Marriage. And if you're married... I highly, highly, highly recommend this. It doesn't matter if you've been married for, you know, a year or if you've been married for 50 years. This is a great podcast for any married couple. Yes. And even some, you know, even if you're not married, maybe you're dating, you've got a fiance or, or whatever. Um, it's great to listen to it as you're preparing for marriage, you know, eventually preparing right. for marriage. So they, they make it marriage. fun. They're a cool couple. We've mm-hmm. had opportunity to speak with them. And, mm-hmm. you know, um, I know you, we, we, we love to have them speak at one of our events. Mm-hmm. You know, of those that... Um, 
are in the Success Academy or our, our clients, we, we go on these retreats mm-hmm. and we, we have, we, you know, we want to bring people in and, and we're not talking plumbing business stuff. Never. We're already doing that. We already we're already do doing that. that. In the Success Academy. So mm-hmm. a part of the MDP and the Success Academy and, and, and our universe is, is, you know, yeah, creating a successful, you know, self-sufficient, you know, very pro- so mm-hmm. self-sustaining, you know, very profitable plumbing business while having a life too. And we Correct. talk about creating the freedom lifestyle. Exactly. We're all so, about the freedom lifestyle. So at these events, you know, part of the life is, you know, what do we do with the money we're making to create more wealth, mm-hmm. our, our relationships, right. you know, those kinds of yes, things. Yes, we think, we talk so, outside of the plumbing business world. So they would be, right, we want to, I yeah. know, we're talking, we mm-hmm. haven't. Yeah. Get the con- You're working on that contract. I'm working. We, we yes. So a- one extraordinary marriage. Highly yeah, recommend. Fun. Just a just a fun podcast yes. to listen to. So all right. So so that's that's the yes. podcast. You know, all right. So that's the books and podcasts. And what else podcasts you got? There. Hey, well, I'll, we'll finish up here in a moment. Before we do, check this out. Hey, plumbing pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my million dollar plumber blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of waste of time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plum like a champion. All right. Welcome back. Mm-hmm. All right. We're talking about, you know, what business books or podcasts or resources or whatever mm-hmm. that we recommend. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, that, that can make a difference in, in your life, mm-hmm. whether it's business or, you know, your life or whatever. Right. So, so we talked about a book, Signs of Getting Rich, one of your all time favorites. Dinky little book. But again, only read it in bite sized chunks. Don't try to in- ingest it all at one time. Um, and then also a podcast that we, one of the podcasts that we highly recommend, Entrepreneur on Fire, JLD, John Lee Dumas. And I would go back to listen to some of the older ones too, yeah. right? I mean, it's all good and it's it's timeless. So yeah, I don't know if he does it anymore. We've listened. I think he's gone to more like doing one a week. I think but, so. But he was doing them where he did them every day. Every day. So he's like, that, right. Yeah. So yeah, he would, you know, do, you know, maybe two different times a month. He would um, do them in blocks, right? Right. And he would just... Do a whole bunch, but yeah, he he would release a podcast every single day, yeah. and that is tough. That is tough. That yeah. is tough. Yes, we so, do it once a, you know, one a week, and that's right. that's, that's that's a tough. typical thing, right? Mm. I mean, we're on almost four hundred, so yeah, doing pretty good. We've been been keeping it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. So what else? So what? So I was thinking of. So we had a, a book, a podcast, mm-hmm. and then I had to come up with a movie because <laughs> you are uh, I the love, king of movies. I, I love sure. I love movies. It's part of our society. We we love movies and movies I, these days stink though. Yeah, because yeah, it's gone. Everything has gone woke and. Mm-hmm. Every, everyone is dark and mm, dying. And, you know. and the, the bad guy is, is the hero and the, right. the good guy is the villain. Everything's right. backwards. Up yeah. is down, down is up. So yeah. so anyway, but uh, movies on the whole usually have, you know, our, our pop culture gets it. You know, we really do. Um, we we kind of get it in the movies, mm-hmm. you know. Um, it's a reflection of culture. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. And even even in the bad movies, you could see where it isn't quite still accepted or what whatever. There's still... Mm-hmm. Because truth is truth, you know, mm-hmm. equation two plus two equals four, what mm-hmm. all that still happens. So I love it in the movies, you know, when it, when it comes out in the movie. So anyways. Well, and I want to say too, like I said, movies right now suck. I mean, right. they just, we used to go to, that was our favorite thing to do, go yeah. to the movie theater. Gosh, we went to theater, movie theater at least two to three times a month because we just love that sitting in the dark, eating popcorn, you know, watching on the big screen, all the things, right? I don't even know, last last movie we saw, whoops, was um, The Jesus Revolution, which was a great movie. Yes. Um, really, really good movie. Um, but... We've now, like, if we'll stay home and, and watch a movie, we'll, you know, get something on Netflix or whatever. We look for old movies. Go back, which you don't like all I mean, but. I'm, I'm not a fan, but at least it's, we're not being hit in the face with all the woke crap, right? Right, right So right. we watched a number of Westerns, which yeah. I cannot believe. I got the lovely Laura <laughs> watching <laughs> Westerns, you know, which I just love because even the Westerns, there's good and bad. Mm-hmm. And what was one, we one good, good, good prevails. Open Range. Open was Range. That it? That was, that's right. a great movie. All right. Yeah. So you still get all the drama and all that, <laughs> mm-hmm. and it's just and not. the bad guy gets it in the end. Right. Yes. They get it. You know, <laughs> some good guys still get it too, but mm-hmm. the bad, you know, the good overcomes the bad. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which is truth. Yes. Good, good already has prevailed. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're, we're being told, well, anyways. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so get, what's the movie that you recommend? Well, there's all kinds of movies. Mm-hmm. People know me. I like my Rocky movies, you know, <laughs> so that's just alone. He's kind of like uh um, you know, who's the, it's like a Shakespeare. He's like a modern, I think a modern, oh I think it's modern because Shakespeare mean? wasn't like, I mean, cause he wrote for the people <laughs> mm. and, and how, you know, just the common, the common language. And he was, mm. you know, 
Um, and so now he's, it's all literature, you know, yeah, I, I, th- I don't think he's been canceled yet. I'm sure he probably <laughs> oh, has cause coming. he's probably been found something. <laughs> something. Right. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, but, but, uh, yes, yeah, Fester Stallone is cool, but, but a movie I thought of was Moneyball that oh. really I liked, <laughs> you know, Moneyball. And if Moneyball you seen, with Brad Pitt. With Brad Pitt mm-hmm. and who played, it was about the Oakland, uh, the Oakland A's, mm. a baseball team. Mm-hmm. Um, which I believe was about 2000, the, about 2000, 2001, yeah, 2002, mm-hmm. um, with Billy Bean, mm-hmm. all right, who, who, who was a baseball player, who was a GM, okay, oh, GM, was right. GM. Mm-hmm. And the idea how he changed, uh, changed up the, the system of, you know, the Oakland, o- Oakland A's is a, a very a small town, small city, small mm-hmm. market right. team, league, like their, their payroll was like, um, um, like, Forty thousand, you know, a tenth of right. all the big ones. It, yeah, exactly, the, I'm trying to think. The, like, the uh, Yankees, or I don't whatever. want to state the numbers. I don't mm-hmm. have it, but it was way. It was like yes, yeah. than, than the big <laughs> teams. Minuscule. And so, how do you compete with that? Right. Well, they had to look at things differently. Mm-hmm. Small plumbing business, mm-hmm. okay, which you can on, on how you can you know how you can win. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I love that came out of that, which is we we talk about you know. I'm all about booking the call. Just mm. book the call. Mm-hmm. Book the call. <laughs> book the call. <laughs> book the call today. Book the call and get out there and whatever and provide the options mm-hmm. and, what, and do that and get the base hit. Mm-hmm. Just get the base so hit. So that's what um, this was about, that yes. they came up with this thing that we didn't have to knock it out of the park every single time. Every right. uh, at-bat didn't have to be a home run. It's just we're going right. to get on base. We're going to get on base. We're going to get on base. Even if they walk us, we're going well, to walk. walk. You know, get on base. Bye bye. Just, okay. just single. Doesn't just have get, to be. And we're not going to steal. We're not. We're not going to. We're not going <laughs> to steal. Well, no, no. You pay me. I mean, it was a quote. Well, it was. It was the the big. Yeah, the big name there. The, the mm-hmm. Steals base, bases mm-hmm. or whatever, and said, you know, well, that's what you pay me to do. No, I don't pay you to steal base. I, I pay you to get on first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then second. Right. And then third. Right. right. As we move move around the bases there, mm-hmm. you know, and and so. Um, it's it's just, such a great movie, and, and for ladies, if any of you are watching, you hear it's not that it's a baseball movie. It is but not a baseball movie. It really isn't. I mean, it, it is about baseball, but it's not all you know sports right. or whatever. It's it's one of our favorite movies, and I typically don't like you know sports movies. No. So, but um, yeah, just the whole the way that they come up with it, right? Of of the different way to look at it because they had to figure out a way. This is a perfect business plumbing business analogy. Small bird. small plumbing business versus you know the big ones, right? How do how does a small guy compete with the larger ones well you got to think outside the box you got to come up with something different that um, sets you apart and allows you again to compete right so they got the they didn't get the they couldn't afford to get the, the a players mm-hmm. who by the way were were being measured on you know how good they looked right in the uniform and mm-hmm. how good their truck looked <laughs> <laughs> you know, how many home runs they would, mm-hmm. would get. So how many big plays, you know, they get one big play a week, a big sale a week, right. you know, that kind of, which makes them the big. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's looking at, okay, I'll, I'll get, I'll get B and C players. Mm-hmm. All right. But I'll focus on keeping it simple and just getting on base, right. making the most out of every call and making the most out of every call is first of all, booking the call, mm-hmm. booking the call for the day, book every call for the day, book mm-hmm. the call. Mm-hmm. And then get out there and provide the options. Right. So there's just get on base. Get on, and that's, get on that base. gets you on base. Mm-hmm. And so you get that, you know, you don't get the home run of trying to sell your big water conditioning, you know, save the universe system. <laughs> you know, it's just, okay, I, I got the, the $400 repair. You know, mm-hmm. it's 400, 500, mm-hmm. 300, 1500, mm-hmm. 3000, mm-hmm. 250. What do you do? You just get the, right. get the, get the hits. Right. Okay. And mm-hmm. every once in a while you're handed mm-hmm. a grand slam. Right. And then you, you, you get it. Mm-hmm. In fact, that's how they wound up, you know, Mm-hmm. It's a, the, I remember I actually watched I watched this I saw it live I don't, wanna, I don't know if it gives it away or whatever mm-hmm. but when they were winning they, actually this team of misfits mm-hmm. and changing up the whole system wound up getting the, the American League um, mm-hmm. winning streak yeah mm-hmm. and in fact they were a game they were a game that they were 11 up 11 nothing mm-hmm. and then they started blowing it and that's yeah. you know um, <laughs> and then people were you know it was the thing of see they're not they're not the best players right. they can't handle whatever mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just so they, you know, were going down. Such a great movie. But they wind up getting a home run. Mm-hmm. You know, the guy gets the home run. I right. saw, I saw that home run. <laughs> you know, it is a great yeah. movie. Um, and again, just a great, great analogy. So when you watch it, put on your business hat, right? It, right. Look at the, the the principles that would apply to to your business because there's tons of them. There's tons of them in that movie. Right. Mm-hmm. So there's a way of having just fun watching something, but learning yes. something. Another one that's really good is the founder about Ray Kroc and McDonald's. Um, you, you may love him or hate him, but man, he was genius when it came to business, right? Total right. genius. So that that's always a good one. 
Um, my, our daughter hates that movie because she thought Rick Brock was such a jerk. But he was super smart. He, he was a great businessman. Yeah, and it didn't happen until in his 50s. Right. Everybody think that Ray Kroc didn't happen. It didn't happen until his mm. mid, mid-50s. Yeah. And, and McDonald's, I don't know, I would say is fairly um, successful. Yeah, it's, it's pretty decent. <laughs> I think they'd probably right. sell a burger <laughs> right. or two, right? You know? Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, that's that's another good one. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just looking at the, the business concepts mm-hmm. of being um, cons- constant, yeah, consistent. discipline, consistent, consistent, keeping it simple. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm I, That's my big, big thing is mm-hmm. keeping it simple. Yes, don't uh, let the complexity creep in. Right, mm-hmm. you know, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. So it's fun, you know, watch, you know, you can watch movies, have a good time and learn business. I can't help but watch any any movie without thinking business, yeah. you know, yeah. what, what's There's the business? business principle in there somewhere. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. And so that's mm-hmm. fun. Yellowstone. I mean, that's, that's a I good series. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and Yellowstone is, you know, there's some things in it. It's like, okay, do we need to see that right. exactly? But from a business standpoint, right. It's all about the ranch. It's, it's all, all about it, the ranch. It's all about the ranch. And there, there's a scene there where uh, his son, the young son, Casey, you know, is kind of coming back and, and he's going to be with the, 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 the ranch hands are, are par- partying. You can hear music going on and, mm-hmm. and laughing because they've had it, you know, they can let down. Mm-hmm. And, um, and I think Casey asked is, you know, ask John, John, you know, the, the, you're going to come go? mm-hmm. Nope. I don't, I don't, um, I don't, um, don't drink with the men. I forget the, what right. the line was, but something but to that effect. It's along the same kind of what we, we always talk about mm-hmm. here. It's not, you don't, you're, you're, you're friendly, mm-hmm. but, you can be friendly, but you're not their friends. Nope. You don't party. You don't party with the men. You don't drink mm-hmm. with the men. You don't sit down with the men. You don't watch, play the games of you know with the men. You don't go mm-hmm. on the weekend somewhere with the guys. You, you don't, don't go do afterwards no. with the men. You know, mm-hmm. huge mistake. Not even not even your GM. Okay, not not. You, that's you gotta keep if it you want to be you want to be successful, mm-hmm. and uh, the, the simplest way possible mm-hmm. with with the least amount of heartache. That, that's one of the things you do. Yeah. You're just not. If you want buddies, mm-hmm. go make buddies somewhere. Yeah, go okay? find buddies somewhere right. else. Go. You know, get a dog. <laughs> okay, or whatever. Okay. I don't know. Hang out with your wife, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. But, <laughs> Even better. Th- but not the, and, and that's, sadly, I hear that. We see with guys that will be, they'll go to these events and stuff with their GM and leave their wife home. Mm-hmm. Bad. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. Nope. You, everyone has to have a little little fear of you. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yes, a healthy fear. A healthy fear yes. is good. Just like healthy fear of the Lord. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, there's things okay. like, like they, you learn from that yeah, yeah. Yellow, Yellowstone. Mm-hmm. And it works. I mean, you can yeah. see it working in real life. Mm-hmm. You know? I just like Rip and I like um, the train station. The train station, right. Gosh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. You know? <laughs> if you want to know how your GM should be. Mm-hmm. He's Rip. you got to watch Yellowstone and, mm-hmm. and, and make it Rip. Yep. Okay. So. Okay. And notice that Rip is, has a healthy fear of John. Yes. Of the um, It's not a healthy, respect. even though he could kick his butt, but there's yeah. respect there, respect there. But they're not, mm-hmm. they're not buddies. They're not, Ooh. he kind of, I think kind of comes out. He kind of treats him like a son. Yeah, eventually. But. I can't tell everything. I know. But it's, <laughs> but not a loving, it's not, there's not a love there. It's no. just out of respect. You've earned your family. That's the, right. you know, mm-hmm. but there's a separation. Right. You know? Yes. So, so Yellowstone, there you go. There we go. All right. So there's some things that we highly recommend. Um, that you can, I that, that, what I could do, I could do a podcast I just know, talking about I, movies I know and you shows. Could. And stuff. That's why I'm, did you see me trying to wrap I, it I, up? Did, did, you, did you catch that? The lovely Laura was kind of raining. I in. knew you were good. There's probably five other movies you want to ramble right. off right now, but we are going to wrap up the show. So, um, the science of getting rich, the book, the science of getting rich, um, podcast E on fire, right. entrepreneur on fire and one extraordinary marriage. Um, and then movies to watch Moneyball. Ball. There we go. Great movie. Okay. All there right. you go. Um, so what do you think? If someone wants to book a call, how might they do that? I book a call? If they want to learn how to have a successful, yeah. self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Let's right. have a conversation, all right? And it's free. Mm-hmm. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call mm-hmm. and book your strategy call with us, okay? Mm-hmm. And uh, we'll get you pointed in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there you go. Okay. All right. Hey, this was, this was a fun one. I know. Okay. I like this it makes one. me want to go watch a movie now. <laughs> what movie you want to watch? It always, you always want to watch a movie. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. One of my favorites, Le Mans. Oh, no. Uh, there's, okay. there's a business in there no, somewhere. No, I can't It's just do a it. good, no. best racing movie ever made. It's horrible. It's the worst. There's like Steve McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mr. like cool. three lines of dialogue in the That's whole right. thing, There's and the rest the of it is all. It's like, <laughs> right. All right. There's lessons yeah. to be learned there. All right. Save the equipment. Okay. But push. Keep pushing. Being consistent. I okay. want to remind you that you are welcome. <laughs> okay. All right. You tell them, time to wrap it up. Uh-huh. All right. Yes. As always, before we let you go, it's been fun. All right. But we want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. 
with Plum Like a Champion. Bye, everybody.